you so much for checking out my YouTube channel. I've wanted to do this video for a while and I was trying to find the right time to do it and on my way home from work today I thought oh, today's a good day and um, I hit a cool mark and this is a mark that will be laughable to so many people out there but for me it's kind of a big deal and I hit 50 subscribers and I know people you included, me included, might even say like, well, people get 50 likes on a Instagram post or anything like that. But for me, that's a huge deal because I just put these out. I don't um, necessarily promote myself. I don't tag other YouTubers or even say like, hey, check out what I'm doing on social media. I just put together videos that I like to put together and do it kind of myself and put these out there. And 50 of you have agreed or decided that you're going to follow my work. And I can't thank you enough for that. Um, and maybe one day I'll look back at this video when I have a lot more and uh, hopefully maybe a lot more. And maybe I'll think 50 was such a small number, but for me 50 is big. So thank you so much for, for even getting to that spot and even checking these videos out. I know they're sporadic. There's a few reasons for that. One is I have a full-time job. I work as a system administrator for a local nonprofit. So that's my nine to five. And then I also freelance. Uh, doing some videography and editing for um, the church I attend. And so getting out in the wood shop and, and, and making videos and editing them uh, takes a long time because I don't have all the time. I would love to have this be my full-time gig and make things and edit things and shoot things. And, uh, but unfortunately right now, um, those are my other things that I do. And I have a family and that is a huge priority to me, uh, spending time with my wife and daughter. And I live in Virginia Beach, and so uh, we're really close to the ocean, and hopefully I will take you down there if you've never seen Virginia Beach. Uh, it's a cool town. Uh, but I'm born and raised here, which, again, if you know anything about, if you might not have any idea about this culture or this area of the country, but it's kind of a rare thing to be uh, 37 and born and raised in Virginia Beach. It's a pretty transient town with the military and, and other things that are going on, but... Um, I just wanted to throw this out there. I wanted to show you some things that I'm working on. If you have any care at all, uh, just see the, some of the projects. Some of them I shoot and edit and throw on Facebook or Facebook on YouTube and other things I you'll never see except maybe an Instagram post. I am on, on Instagram and I will put that link uh, below. So if you feel the need and if you want, I would love for you to check my some of the other stuff out that I do. I also just started a small little small business called ELG Wood Studios and that link will be down there and any of uh, contact information that if you are in the area or want something that I, I do it's super small super beginning we're just even uh, getting off the ground with that uh, business cards are about as far as I've gone for for making that thing a reality but that's something fun that we'll try to try to do and uh, hopefully some work client work will get down the line but speaking of that my first piece of client work is this video I'm working on which is, I'll show you a little preview right here this is an x-ray cabinet i'm super excited about it is one of the biggest projects i've ever built and uh, was one of the most fun and challenging and also one of the uh the most satisfying with the way it turned out i'm super excited and you're probably hearing a jet and i'm sorry for that uh, but also in the shop uh some things that i'm working on i'll just show you pictures of one is a you've actually maybe seen it in the background of a video this is at my kitchen table and uh, we bought this stuff, this wood, a rough cut about a year ago almost, and it just sat here in the shop for a long, long time, as so many other things in the shop do. And finally, over the summer, I was finally able to square it up, join it together, and then it just sat for months because I needed space to uh, work on it. And so finally, over the last few weeks, I've been putting finish on it and sanding it and finish and sanding and finish and sanding. And what you're seeing here is the fourth what you just saw is the fourth coat. Hopefully I can be done with that and then this will be our kitchen table. I'll work on the legs, pretty simple design for the legs and get that installed and replace the table that we've had for a long, long time. Another project that I'm very, very excited about and wish I had shot a video for because this is kind of an heirloom piece for my, me and my family, but it is a box that will hold a Bible that my in-laws actually have that was given to them that is uh, over 200 years old. And it actually has paperwork, not original paperwork, but copies of paperwork uh, from my father-in-law whose family line goes all the way back to the Mayflower. Currently that Bible is in a shoebox in a Chester drawer at their house. And so for Christmas, I put together a box out of maple and basswood for them. 
it was super cold uh, here during December and January, so I wasn't able to finish it uh, fully. And so now it's super nice out. So I've finally been able to finish that. I can't wait to get that to them. And um, we'll see that Bible. And hopefully one day maybe we'll even have that and that will become uh, part of history along with the Bible. Uh, lastly, I'll just talk about which, if you watch my videos, if you've seen the six up till now, I think it's six, You'll notice my shop is different almost in every time. And, and if you were to see behind the camera right now, ew, whew, it is bad. But that is because my shop continually goes through uh, changes and I'm always trying to modify things and fix things the way that I would want them. And also I have a friend of mine who is in the x-ray cabinet video. You'll see him sporadic uh, come in and come out. He works in here a lot too. Uh, the shop is in the back of my house. He lives right down the street. So he comes down and works on things. And, but anyway, so you will always see things differently. But in the last couple of videos, you've seen these, um, these base cabinets. I picked up these base cabinets at Habitat for Humanity, which is a store here in the area that helps um, build homes for the homeless. And they had these cabinets and they were 25 bucks a piece. And so I asked for Christmas if I could just have these. And so I am super excited to, to use these cabinets. I have to build a base to them and I'm hoping to film all this. But one of the cool things I'm hoping to do with the base is actually put dust collection into it. And so kind of an integrated floor sweep system. And uh, so I'm gonna shoot that and that'll be really neat. I'm really excited about that. But this will be my miter saw station and some other things and just storage and hopefully to kind of put some, uh, put some systems to work, some organization, because this place is a disaster. But uh, I guess dirty shop is a used shop, I guess, as you can say. But, but I think that's about it. Again, thank you. If this is your first time to this channel, welcome. If this, if you have been following this from the beginning, thank you. Uh, you will see videos again sporadically from me. I, I could try to tell you I'll post one every week, every other week, but I would be bold faced lying to you because that just cannot happen uh, with my schedule. So you'll see videos sporadically and uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.